God, this is so epic. Tell me you guys watch this. It's awesome. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Steel, Snoop Dogg, and D.O. Nah, nah, nigga. Guess who's back? I see you still doing this. <laughs> Make some noise for Dr. Dre. It's still Dre. That's it. Okay. Though I'm feeling the lock, can't keep it home a lot. Cause when I freak with the spots that I'm on the rock You hear the bass from the truck when I'm on the block Ladies, they pay homage, but they don't say Dre fell off Our homie, the last album was the truck. Holy shit I'm ready to go, get baby. a round of applause for that one, man Honestly, honestly, that was great That mm. was great <laughs> wow. wow Wow What an entrance Welcome oh, back That fit, that gang off. Fuck it up, Fizer We got another episode God in store damn. for you God damn As always did you guys hear crimes. that? Man. 19 Crimes, Shiraz, listen to Dr. Dre, Halftime Show at the Super Ooh. Bowl. That shit, hits different. Fuck and damn. you know what? I'm still feeling sexy, so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's up, my guy? How you doing? <laughs> What's good? What's good, man? After that performance, I'm just, uh, wow. like, every time I hear it, it's what just What sort like, of memories come back when you think about that? Man. Or when you well, hear that? Honestly, I just. Well, when I, you saw it. I saw it. Or I watched it at work. So me and, uh, me and one of the other managers, he was like, dude, you need to get in here now. And I was like, dropped everything that I was doing, went in there, bro. And I was like. It's like Did you I just put like, on an American accent? Hey. <laughs> Did you just put on an American accent? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you need to come in here and watch it. <laughs> yeah, honestly, though, he was like, man, you need to come and see this. And I was like, man, honestly, <sighs> cool. I, I just felt like a little kid. And you know when you're. Like watching something and like you could just predict what's gonna happen. <laughs> like I just knew straight vibes. Like as soon as he like jumped on the piano, I was like, "Still Dre, still Dre." Like, By that piano, like, like, ding, 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 ding. man, that's the most iconic riff ever. Ah, honestly, cool. that was so good. That's so good. Anyway, what's been going on, bro? Woo. How are you? How's your week been? What's uh, been going on? Bit of heartbreak crazy. in the bit of heartbreak in the ha- house yeah, the last, last time week. We check that. Check that out. Um, just thought on Wednesday uh, we talked about. Go to where you're celebrated, not tolerated. So check that out. If you're feeling a little vibe and you're in that right now, go check that out. But Quick um, plug, quick plug for my girl Sammy. Mm. What is that? Fuel Flex. Fuel Flex. Go check that out. Repping that. It's a nice one. I like it. I like it. And this is Fuck It Up Fridays too. <laughs> that stands for Fuck Double It Up left, Fridays. Baby. It was meant to be. Right. It was meant to That's be. That's the first merch drop. <laughs> nah. Um, nah, it's been crazy, man. Like, time's just Time is going so fast right now, and um, because you're enjoying what you're doing, man. Man, it just it really is flying, man. And it's just like I'm just trying to save each moment and take it as it is. And I'm excited to um, line up a couple of guests and stuff for like that fit, which is going to be super cool. Um, but man, like, yeah, it's hard. It's it's great. It's hard. Just the way it's supposed to be. And it's hard being great, huh? <laughs> Talk to me about that. But um, no, I'm just feeling great, man. And as always, like my measuring stick is in my healthy mind, body, and soul. And um, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, but, you know, it's continual growth and growth is painful, bro. So, um, you know, beauty is pain. You know that saying. 100%, so, um, yeah, 100%. I'm just trying to, say, just trying to stay beautiful, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> you are beautiful, um, my yeah, guy. What about you, you my guy? I've been, uh, You're glowing. You're glowing a bit. <laughs> Why are you glowing like that? I think he's finally going to get it out of me. Eh? He's going to get it out of me this re- week, isn't feeling, he? You've been looking sexy. You've been feeling sexy. Um, you've been coming home with a smile on your just, face. Just, just that new hairstyle, that's all. <laughs> no, what's been going on with you? I want to know. I want to know. And nah, the people want to know too. Uh, let's have a look. Well, no, nah, look. Like, I know, I'm not going to say too much. I'm not that kind of guy. But, um, you know, I like to keep my private private. I don't hang out my dirty laundry. But um, Valentine's Day. What did you guys do for Valentine's Day? Let's yeah. talk, let's start there. How about that? Because that was the beginning of the week. That was Monday, February the fourteenth. Uh, what did your after the no, heartbreak I, after the heartbreak in the house last week? What did your Valentine's look like for you, man? <laughs> Not much, man. <laughs> I'm out here treating myself. Um, you know, I was just, I had nothing at all. Fuck, I felt lonely. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> um, no, I felt great, man. I, I was just chill. Um, you know. As always, Monday was a little bit different. Didn't have to do any intern stuff. So I'm um, just locked in on some stuff. Um, little 
designing and stuff like that, bro. Yeah. Um, obviously, you came yeah. on home, home on Friday, man. Just I, I was just in a vibe. Um, I know. And it design, is. just trying to look at um, the way things are going to look for this, this house is becoming a really, <laughs> really great creative space right now. Like it you know, is there's actually, so many, like um, you can, man, if you could see this shit floating in the air, you could just mm. see creative energy. You breathe know, it in, man. It's like love. Around, honestly, <laughs> 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 like, here we go again. I knew um, he wasn't going to let it go. So no, nah, I've just, I've just been great. I was, it was chill, man. Like um, I was going to treat myself to a red one, but I uh, didn't have myself back. Um, cause it just reminded me of shorty, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man>. nah, <laughs> and, um, no, nah, it was sweet, man. I was just at home, you know, thinking I was like, fuck all my guys out there fucking treating their, um, their girls to a nice little dinner, a few roses, chocolates, <laughs> just to bust a nut in 30 seconds, you know, <laughs> <laughs> just to let shorty uh, down. Stay strong, <laughs> King, stay <Straight> strong. <laughs> But um, that was my Valentine's Day, bro. Um, but I'm excited to hear what yours was like because um, right, so <laughs> I said a few things floating around this house. I was like, shit, I'm getting roses. What is nah, this, The look, Bachelor? So, um, yeah, there, there is a special lady. There is a special lady in my life. Uh, and she, um, you know, she was my Valentine this year. And, um, yeah, look, I... I'm a romantic. Like, what can I say? Like, I'm I'm built. I'm built in that era. Like, as I said to you, you know, '80s is my vibe, man. Mm. When everyone was just like, you know, in love, like, you know, and it was a good type of shit. So, um, yeah. So I went. What did I do? It was it was it was thoughtful but simple. Um, so you know, I got um, I got a big SUV, and um, I got some blankets. You know, I put all the seats down in that SUV. I got because it was raining here, right? So, it was actually, yeah, it was like pissing down. So originally, I had a plan to like you know just do a little dinner out. Like I was actually going to do it like you know in the middle of this field out here in Varsity. Mm, I was going to go bro. literally like I in got the a secret middle. spot there. I won't yeah. tell you though. No, it's only mine. Come on, man. Nah, <laughs> hook it up. Nah, <laughs> and I, no, I was going to just. My plan was to go and set this dinner up in the middle of this pitch black field. Mm. And just, like, have, like, us be, like, this candlelight be, like, the only light, you know, in the middle of this field. So that was, like, what I was thinking. Mm. But obviously, like, the rain was like, no, 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 that ain't going to happen. That's gonna. But then, honestly, it worked in my favor because, um, yeah, I ended up lacing this SUV with it with blankets. Um, it was mad. It's a big, it's a big car, yeah. too. Um, went and got some Italian food, ordered some Italian takeaways, you know, um, some pasta and garlic breads and whatnot. And... Um, Got a bottle of some uh, some fine red wine, which is a favourite from New Zealand. What is it? Um, I'll know it I'll, if I see it. It's from Otago. Okay. One of these reds from Otago, but it was a pin, Pinot Noir. Mm. Um, and then, like, we went for a walk um, to Purling Brook o- over the weekend. Yeah, like yeah. That, We did that Springbrook walk. And on the walk, we got, like, a really nice photo. So I was like, yo, I'm going to take that photo. Um, took it took it in the next day, got it made up, got it framed. She just got a new office. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd just get her something for that. Oh, man. <laughs> and just uh, I put it, I put the photo into it. I put another photo into the key ring as well. So she could carry that too. Um, this and, is the fucking best, man. And then, um, yeah, and then I bought like these um, – these roses, like oh, I was like a big bunch of roses. She just, she actually just sent it to me, like literally just before I got on here. And she was like, "I have these displayed in the living room. Uh, I'll show you guys. Fuck it, I'll show you. Hold on, wait there." <laughs> Fuck, this is the yeah. best. Mm. So anyway, yeah. So that's um. So I had all of that set up, and then on top of that, like these LED strips here, I took one and just like put it around the whole like SUV, yeah, um, inside so that it was just red. So like, mm. I drove. We drove to a nice spot, um, got her out, like had her eyes closed, like walked around to the back, opened yeah. it up, and like just was like, "Hey, here you go." Yeah, like, Valentine's baby. Yeah. <laughs> she loved it. She started crying. Holy shit, man. And I'm jealous. <laughs> <But yeah. laughs> Love, baby. And we just uh we had dinner and you know, we just uh the SUV had a um it had a sun like a huge panoramic roof, so just opened that up and you know, we just laid there just, you know, what looking up at this at this at the stars and, <laughs> and like just talking and you know, just having a good time. So 
No, nah, it was a great Valentine's Day, man. It was really good. I I like it. Crazy. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so when are you getting married? <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> I fucking hate that shit. No. Damn, man. But like, okay, well, let's let's get off that. What did you guys do for Valentine's Day, man? What did you guys do? I hope you guys all treated like, man, there's such a stigma around it. I was literally just talking to her about it like today and I was like... Valentine's Day? Yeah, like, because like, yeah, okay, I get it that it's... Um, a stigma in terms of what? Well, it's because it used to be like, you know, everyone was like, oh, like, you know, Valentine's Day, show some love, do this, do that. And now like people are like, I feel like lazy people are trying to be like, oh, it's just like for money making and it's just for this. It doesn't actually mean oh. anything. And, and then they're like, you should be treating your, your girl Going like, like this every day. And I'm just like, yeah, but you don't. <laughs> like, Let's like, talk about that. Then, but, like, um, yeah, 100%. But I believe that, look, okay, mm. like I get it, I get it that you should be, and yeah, okay, it may be a thing to, to make money or whatever, but look, guys, it's still a fucking thing, and yeah. your girl is still going to feel shit. Special. Like, well, she's going to feel shit if, she, if you don't do anything for her, or you t- put the bare minimum in, and if you go extra and above, like, you know, you get the reaction that I got, like, you know, like, mm. you know, I'm like, there's no real right time or reason to do that thing, but you know, like if she can feel like she, I guess she's not missing out, and there are other girls that are you know getting the same thing, and she gets it, you know, like I don't know, it's just it's like a wedding, like it's not every a girl great needs to, to have a wedding, man, but yeah, because it's like all those <clears throat> times throughout the year where you have like holidays and days off, right? It's like a chance to reset and be remind yourself of why you get these days, or just a it's like a trigger to be like fuck, like, I, I really care about you. Like, yeah. life may have got on the way. Like, we've been so busy okay. doing our thing. But, hey, let's just spend this time together yeah. and fucking run it up, have, <clears throat> like, roses and stuff. Let's just talk about what yeah. – um, maybe what we're missing out on or mm. what we haven't been doing or and just or just get away from everything and spend the moment together yeah. to be like hey man like i fucking love you like i love spending time with you so um let's just take a bit of time away from everything of life yeah. because it's so busy and stuff like that i think it's a great reminder mm. but at the same time like in the true sense of like oh you should treat it like that every day yeah you should but you can't do that extra effort yeah, every day you know I, what i mean i get that like but like you know like uh, let, let me put it to you this way like the the things that you do with those people, um, you know, with with your partner, or with that special person, like it shouldn't just be for them. Like, say, for like, let me put it to you this way, right? So, not so Monday was Valentine's Day. The Thursday prior to that, we went to the drive-in. Mm. Right, I got a like a big U, um, you know, and fuck, we moved my bed yeah, yeah. down onto this U. I'm uh, moving houses again. Yeah, and like you know, we t- like we took it out. Mm. We laid under the stars and watched the movie, like literally in my bed on this fucking U. Like that was like a thing that you know I could have said, oh, happy Valentine's Day then or whatever. It's like you know mm. I do all these things for you, you know, all the time. But you know that they're also for me too. Like, you know, like, it's it's like guys are like, oh, I treat her special. It's like, no, man, like, it's moments together that make these things special. It's like, if you get her flowers, that's sweet, bro. But girls remember that moment with you together, you know? Like, yeah, okay, the the flowers are great and, like, all these little gestures are great. But, like, I feel like... Yeah, yeah, it's it's never the thing. It's, yeah, the moment. and It's the moment. Right, that's so weird because recently... It's been like, everything's been a moment for me and it's just like, fuck, like, how do you enjoy this moment as best as you can be? And it's not the things, it's just being there and be like, yeah. fuck, I'm grateful for this. So that's yeah. interesting, man. And like, there's, just you could break that, that people, down in so many different things. But people, again, people have their own way of thinking about yeah. things and dudes that are, or people that are negative are going to be like, oh, you should be treating like that every day and they're not even treating yeah, them like that any day. It's like <laughs> any they, day of the year. Really and then people are like, oh, it's a great day to spend time again. It's like, yeah, it's just like, man, but then, like, where, where I feel like that concept gets lost is, like, people, like, say, guys and girls, like, they will do these things that they're probably, like, that, that, use, that are normal. You know, like, oh, like, I get a coffee every morning. Mm. It's like, okay, well, that's cool. That's normal. Like, yeah. in a sense, it's become normal. Valentine's Day is to go, like, extra. It's like your anniversary. Yeah, yeah. You know, mm. like, it's, it's another one of those. Like, it's your anniversary. It's, it's your... It's your engagement. It's your wedding. Mm. Like none of these things have to happen. 100. But, but you it's just, a problem. You, yeah, yeah, 100%. It's, it's, it's just a thing. Why you're doing you this do. in the first place, you know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, and 100%. it's like, man, like, 
love love is something special it's like some the most powerful thing that we cannot see 100 you know like and it's it's something that can bring you together it's something that can destroy your life like you know if you let it but like yeah if you nurture it and you put time and you put effort into it it's like you know like you don't have your car doesn't necessarily have to be filthy for you to wash it Hundred, you know, but if you wash it, you look after it, you polish yeah. it. It's gonna look better, and it's gonna, you know, perform 100%. like, you know, like it's the same thing with your love. Like, right. you know, you just be expecting that shit every day, though. <laughs> 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 and we go, man, it's like, oh, you want me roses? It's like, yeah, know, man. man. Like, like, it's it's good, but the per- um, that person needs to, like, you know, I heard this thing um, during the week, and it was like, like it was a video of this little girl asking um, a guy, you know, what a soulmate was, mm. and. I and he said like you know a soulmate he said a bunch of things right and I'm not going to get into it but he was like um and a soulmate is a person that makes you better mm. and then he goes no no scratch that a soulmate is a person that inspires you to be better yeah, and want to do those things and it's like you know like with my person like like she inspires me to to be who I am which is, you know, be comfortable in living in my era, you know, because like, you know me, bro, I don't fit in, not, not, not I don't fit mm. in, but like, I'm, I'm like still living in like 04, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. you know what I mean? When like the, the Ja Rule and the Ashantis and shit like that, when that sort of vibe was going on, like, that's me, like, I'm a, I'm a lover boy, like, you know, I'm that kind of guy yeah. to a T, like, I'm not this new age dude, and like, she really like, I guess inspires me to be that person, be that romantic and, um, and really just come through with the values that like I started with and somehow like I lost along the way, Mm. but like, you know, like I can, I feel like I can be that person and be that guy. And like, you know, I'm back to making music, you know, like, um, you know, getting real creative and, you know, as I said, like she inspires me to make me want to do things like, you know, fucking share moments under the stars, go for, you know, big walks on the weekend and do all that sort of shit. Like, you know, yeah. so I think that's that's really, really important, you know, to to take every opportunity um, because it's one of those things where it seems like a lot of effort when you're not doing it. But then once you're in that moment, man. It's always worth it. It's fucking worth it. Yeah. Like it's so worth it, especially when you're with the person that, you know, you've got that connection with. So Because yeah. that's a good point how you said it's not – um about um, making that person better because you can't make a person better. You can only inspire them to be better. Yeah. Because if you're making a person you're better, changing them. that's yeah, you change them. You don't want to change a person. You want to help them become yeah. change into the person that they want to be, and she not always the person says that me, you want them to be. Always says to me, like you know, like babe, as long as you're being yourself, hundred percent. And I'm like, fuck, like yeah, <laughs> like I really 100%. am. Like this is me, you know, like, and it's great. Like it's fucking great. But uh, anyway, on Monday, this fucking Super Bowl happened. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Did I tell me, you guys, like, honestly, every I've gotten so many photos, so many videos of people watching that halftime show. Mm. Because so that was just Everyone tunes in. You don't watch. <clears throat> most people don't even watch NFL. They just no. watch it. The Super Bowl. <laughs> like I literally the saw this thing on the news, show. and they were like, um, they were talking about. They're like, Dr. Dre and Eminem and this, that, and then, yeah. and, and they had this full conversation. They're like. Oh, yeah, and the Rams won. <laughs> and then, then they ended it. Yeah. I was like, literally everyone just cared. So, like, for those of you who don't know, go and watch it. It's number one trending on YouTube right now uh, worldwide. Dr. Dre got the crew together. He got um, Uncle Snoop Dogg. He got uh, Eminem, 50 Cent. Mary J. Mary J. Blige. He got the boy Kendrick Lamar. Uh, on there as well, and like, star started for sure, hundred percent. It was like one, that. That that to me was just hip hop. You know, that was that was like the epitome of of where hip hop and what it's about. And uh, they really just brought the house down. Like you know, every single one. like I like how Fifty just came. He wasn't even advertised for it, but he just came in. Just and did you see how he it's started? Like hanging from the, hanging from the fucking roof. <laughs> Literally, man, that was epic. Like I absolutely loved it. Like I felt honestly like a little kid. 100%. Watching that shit, like yeah. I was jumping and like I'm in my like tie and like shit, like you know, in the office, just absolutely jumping out Bumping of my nuts it, yeah. like it was it was so good it's a full so, on so show good. and it's crazy because especially being in LA as well like every celebrity was out like all the big yeah. dogs are out you see Justin you see Justin Bieber LeBron yeah 100% he was, uh, was on yeah, one Antonio um, it's just cool it's like the best spot, spot to have it like, it's in like Hollywood mm. and stuff like that so um, and that's the thing like I enjoy, I watch it 
watch it a bit. Like I especially like um, follow like Joe Burrow and OBJ and stuff like that, which is super cool. And to see him win a Super Bowl and everything that he's been through is, is crazy. And um, that's inspiring, man. And it's just like the halftime show as well. Like that's inspiring. And it was funny. I was watching the Michael Jackson one in 1993. Yeah, that came show. up on my YouTube too. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and that was crazy. And like... Yeah, was I, I literally cool. was uh, when you got home yesterday. I was watching. Um, so last year, the weekend, he turned up, and um, and then my special lady, she sent me Beyonce and Shakira. Like they did like a couple of years ago. Yeah. And it was man, good. like fuck, I was watching those two girls go. Like, and I'm like, oh my god, like Shakira. Is like such an amazing performer, man. Like the way if you've seen those hips move, like hips don't lie. (laughs) Man, I miss her too. (laughs) (laughs) But no, like that, and then like going through that because like they perform obviously like you know a back catalogue, and like you sort of forget like between uh, Shakira and J Lo, I'm like, damn, like these. These women had some hits. Like, 100. it was just banger after banger and after banger after banger. And I'm just like, and then the weekend comes on and it was like, damn, like this. <laughs> you got, forget this how, and that's the thing, bro. The yeah. world moves so fast. Music rapidly changes. Like, the amount of music that comes out now is just crazy that you forget about that shit. And it's just like, mm. moments like that, like the Super Bowl, it's just like, it's cool to have those moments to go back and reflect and be like, Oh, this is crazy Like That was a generation Of music right there With them Three Four Five people um, Obviously Kendrick's still going there Still making music Obviously Snoop and, Snoop and stuff like that I don't think To the level That they used to be But just to remind right. yourself Like This is what it once was And like This is where we are now So like It's just cool to see People like that Still kicking it And like Just happy as well Like Snoop and Dre and stuff have changed from where they used to be as artists now and Snoop's just out here trying to have a good time and spread love and you know bring the young ones up so like yeah. it's just cool and like you see people reflecting like people that don't even watch like I said don't even watch the game but they're there to watch a halftime show to see people like yeah, from their generation yeah, yeah. play the music that they used to love it's like they, they, that was literally like a Jake Paul boxing moment like people who mm. don't watch boxing but yeah. they watch because of Jake Paul. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's that was literally me. Like, I don't necessarily watch, you know, the, the football, but, mm. like, man, I was not going to miss, like, those legends yeah. on stage. And I think that brought so many, so many eyes to that sport. Um, what was your – have you got a favourite halftime performance? Um, favourite halftime? For me, it would be Justin Timberlake. He did it, yeah, like, that was two pretty or good. three years ago. Like, and, um, yeah, man, that guy, he went – because he's just – an epic performer like he's yeah. he's no lip sync no nothing like he's out there dancing his ass off and he's like singing and it sounds exactly yeah. like he you know exactly like he is on the mic so 100% no nah, um no nah, no like super memorable ones like I don't remember too many but like the weekend one was obviously super cool because that yeah. was super new he played some new stuff as well so we were on that vibe um, too like the yeah, weekend 100%. vibe yeah but yeah, man, like honestly that was just like that was that was just like a moment in history. Like, you know, everyone everyone needs to go and yeah. check that out because not only was that special, but um, you know, it might be the last time that we see, you know, like a big oh. performance like that. That's that was You won't see them <clears throat> together ever perform again, nah. like M M&M and stuff like that. Which but even like with Dre, you know, like it might be like his last sort of you know, like going out performs because that's a yeah. pretty big platform. Man. I don't is, think he's going to do like a world tour or anything. Nah, he doesn't even tour no more. Sure, yeah, that's what I mean. So, like, you know, for him, like, you know, if you if you guys were watching that live, man, yeah. you just wish to witness the moment. He looks like, happy too, man. Like, he just looked like he enjoyed himself, and like, like it was just fun, had, like, great to be there. Ten billion dollars in the bank, I'd be pretty fucking happy yeah. too, man. I, don't <laughs> know, I bet there's some people out there that aren't <laughs> miserable. Yeah, definitely. So, um, but cool. no, nah, like speaking like speaking of history, man, I saw. Um, what are your thoughts on that new Spider-Man movie? I see that's mm. like that, like now, like the third or fourth biggest movie of all time. Like, I know you don't yeah. really fuck with like Marvel and shit, eh? Like, but I, I, I like that as that just stuff. a movie. Yeah, I don't, I don't really <clears throat> fuck with Marvel or anything like that. Um, yeah, what 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 were you watching when you were like growing up? Like, cause fuck, everyone was watching like Batman, Superman, <sighs> Spider-Man, like. Like all I the boys and shit. What, what the fuck stuff? were you watching? Um, <laughs> I was watching the grass grow outside <laughs> my fucking house. <laughs> I was picking blade by blade, baby. Um, <laughs> Playing no, soft for those straight sticks. Straight up, man. Like, <clears throat> I don't know. I started watching YouTube when I was really young. 
Yeah, see, I never had that, hey. I never had, like, access to YouTube. Bro, and straight up, like, like, I'm going to be honest, I was, if I got home from, like, training and stuff like that, like, I I had training after school every day, whatever sport I was playing. Fucking hell. Bro, I'd be out till the lights went out. Yeah, Like, that's the type of of shit. Like, I had trees at my house. I, like, I'd only go in if I kicked the ball in the tree. So there's no (laughs) way I was kicking that fucking ball in the tree, bro. I was like, this, I'm kicking this thing over the tree for fucking three hours straight. Like, that's that's the... Type, so I was I, until the lights went out, or mum and dad like would let you like get your ass <laughs> inside, boy. Inside, you need boy. to go to sleep. Yeah, and I'm oh, just yeah. and they're the having a shower. And I'm like packed that. out. I'm packed out on the thing. So <clears throat> I mean, I, I bro, to be honest. Well, what's your nah. what, what's like your go to moves? Like, what kind of moves you into? Um. All right, let me let me put it this way, right? So you come you come home. Uh, I'm gonna ask you two, right? Okay. You come home from a long ass day, or even on a day off or something. It's fucking pissing down with rain. You make yourself a nice meal. You're like, you know what? I wanna watch a movie. It ha- it could be one that you've even already seen. Like, what would be your go to movie? You sit down there, you're all alone. What's what's the go to movie? It's probably gonna be something funny, eh? Yeah, I'll, I like it what quite kind of lighthearted. Of- I don't like. I don't like to think too much. Yeah, right. Um, so what? Who, bro, what like, kind of humor are you into? Um, I like Friday. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that. <laughs> That's bench a warmers, bro. Hey, bench warmers. The bench warmers. I feel like I've heard. That. Which one's that? Um, they're goofy and they're like just random dudes from like a CD store, and they cl- come together and make a um baseball team. That sounds like like, like dodgeball type thing. Yeah, do- yeah. yeah. So, bro, that straight up to be honest, I really don't know. I'm coming. <laughs> if right. I'm watching a movie. I'm watching it with some girl. Yeah, well, okay. And I'm let like, me hey, put it you that way. So you posted up with Shorty, like, you know, um, was- Notebook. Nah. <laughs> no, you're nah. not. You I never watched not. Notebook. Uh, Have you not? Uh, no. Nah. nah, it's a good movie. It's bro, straight up, you movie. can name any movie. I'm it's like, actually. nah, never watched it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not taking the range. I'm making. I'm like. You pet because um, <laughs> I was. I'm just sitting straight there. I'll just, I'll just watch YouTube, bro. I straight up watch YouTube. Uh, I'll you watch is, something. Hey, hey you pick four hours later. Nah. I'm still trying to pick. <laughs> <laughs> Go home then. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Why? What's what's your best movie of all time? Um, look, like if I'm by myself, uh, anything to do with the Marvel, man. Honestly, like. I think if I could get you into one thing, it would be the Marvel I series. I, but it would like, be the Marvel don't get me series. wrong, I'll, I'll enjoy it. Yeah, I'm just like I'm not fucking like, holy shit! Like that's what how nah, that nah, matches well, up not, and shit like It's not like, that. like it's not it's not like that. It's like um, like you know, like the Fast and Furious in a sense where oh, like you okay. know, like fuck, I didn't think <clears> that <throat> too fast, too furious. Like ah, uh, that like that's OG yeah. shit. Like so yeah, it's I'll like like that. That, that's what it's like for me. You know, like the the Marvel shit because like. The way they've built it, you know, like when Tony Stark and Iron Man, like they started right, you know, back in what, 2006, 2007, mm. man, that's been like 15 years now. You, you, you learn to grow with these characters yeah. and like grow with the story. And then when you find out like in one movie that like while Iron Man was doing this in that movie, these people were doing this in that movie. So it gets you like almost invested in both the characters. Yeah. And then now you're like, oh shit. All right. But like, Obviously, you're not. You know me. I don't yeah, watch yeah, TV. Yeah. Like you know, I'm I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. not really that kind of guy. But like, to a certain extent, with like Paul Walker and Vin Diesel, when you knew that like mm. Liddy got killed, but then she didn't get killed, and this was this is what was yeah, happening yeah. in the background. You know, you're sort of like, oh fuck, like that that hits different. But the fact that there's 21 different movies to go through, and they all like have a sequence and how they yeah. follow, and then it, it comes into like this big. And ends up in the you know what is the biggest movie of all time? Yeah. You know, Endgame is literally the biggest movie of all time. So I mean, look, that that's not just hype, yeah. <laughs> you know. Like it's it's and it's this this the cast is so star studded, and they all like I I almost feel for those people because like you know like like Tom Holland now will forever just be known as Spider Man. Like yeah. Andrew, like what's the other guy? Toby Maguire. Yeah, yeah. He is forever known. Oh, like what other movie do we know that he's in? Mm. Nothing. No. Well, you don't. <laughs> you know, like, and like any other movie that Robert Downey Jr. tries to do, Iron Man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like Iron what? Man. You know, what are they? What? Are, what is it? Like, you know, so it's like you almost, they become so, and that's how you know that a movie is good when, when the character can't go and like, just play another character, yeah. you know, because it's just that good. But um, if I'm posted up 
with and you know it's funny right because i just told her i was like yeah we're doing this on so we're doing like a movie day on sunday and i was like yeah. uh, you're you're picking all the movies yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she's she's got them all sorted but see I, um <clears throat> but i don't want to sound like a fucking dick but i just i think there's for me i there's better things to do like nah, let's go nah. for a walk yeah, or something yeah, like yeah. that you know no, what I no mean? but there's there's moments right so that's that's, that's it's it's about that balance, right? Because, like, say, you know, we've been doing all these different things, you know, like going here, going there, doing dinners, going walks. Like, we've done 5 a.m., you know, sunrise. To be honest, I'll probably watch Friends and shit. I do enjoy that. Yeah, French, I think... Fresh I think Prince of Bel-Air. That's probably when you're, like, you know, you, you get, like, I don't know, like, there's something about, like, that's what I'm trying to say, like, watching a movie with someone, like, you know, if you cuddled up, you know, you're, like, stuck to each other you know you got some snacks there you're nice and warm and then like it's not so much the movie but it's more just being able to like actually just yeah cuddle up that's what i mean i'm not even watching person. the movie yeah but like it's just there because like i guess i'm watching like, her watch the movie <laughs> <laughs> but like when we went to the drive-in we yeah, saw I know that what you mean. um that marry me right and like look it like we didn't see half the movie mm. don't get me wrong but like it was still nice to just be doing that action of like, you know, okay, this is romantic. Like we went yeah. and watched a movie under the stars, you know, mm. like instead of like, <laughs> obviously it'll be great if we just went and laid under the stars, but yeah, like, yeah. you know, the, I guess the movie, you know, with them being all like in love and shit like that, like it sort of just sets the mood. Yeah. Or even if it's funny, like if you can, if you can have a movie on and Adam Sandler's in the I know background. what you mean. Yeah. Like you're not, <clears throat> that's what I mean. Like I never watch movies in the sense of that i was always yeah. watch movies and since i was with someone like just to i know where you're you coming away from, from you like me and you away from everything but yeah. we're watching a movie you always you've always been trying to get something out of the movie is that right um is that yeah, i was bro. like that in a lo- for yeah. a long time i was like no well, i don't want to watch that like what the f- that's a waste of time yeah like you know in a sense yeah. but then like that's what i mean bro like when you meet that person like that. But that's switch. what I mean. When you ask me a movie, that's why I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm not a movie, but it's like, would you watch a movie? Fuck yeah, I watch a movie as long mm. as I'm with someone. Yeah. It's, yeah, that a context sign it kind of thing. Yeah, it, it makes definitely, sense. It definitely hits different when you get to just be like, like for, for a couple and especially like a couple that's had a big day, like, you know, like if, a, if the guy goes, baby, okay, like, let's get some takeaways and we'll go home and I'll put a movie on and yeah, we'll yeah. just relax. Yeah, that sounds that's, like the best fucking yeah, thing ever 100%. to a couple, you know what I yeah. mean? Like, it's, so it's, it's different and you're right, like, it's different and that's why, like, for me, like, you know, if it wasn't, like, Marvel and shit or any, like, real boyish movies, like, yeah. I probably wasn't into it but yeah, then, yeah. you know, maybe uh, beginning of last year or maybe halfway through last year, I was like, you know, fuck that, like, I'm gonna, I want to watch some shit, you know, yeah. I want to actually watch some shit that mm. makes me feel sh- some shit, you know, yeah, like, yeah. And so I'd come home like on my day off and I'd just, I'd, I'd sign myself like three hours to just relax on the couch. And yeah. I was watching shit like, um, like Guilty Pleasure. But look, my, one of my favorite movies is The Proposal with Ryan yeah, Reynolds yeah. and uh, Sandra Bullock. That, I fucking love that movie. Yeah. So like, you know, just shit like that. And like, you know, fuck, it's Guilty Pleasure. But it's like, you know, it's a bit of mindless, um, it's a mindless watch that sort of takes you out of, you know, your day to day routine and sort of, you know, just gives you a little bit of a different insight, makes you feel something, you know, when when you can't just go and see someone or go and talk to someone or whatever, like, you know, a movie's a good way to sort of get in mm. into that sort of vibe. Yeah, see, YouTube, I, YouTube does that for me. Like, I, I can mindlessly watch fucking some like, skits and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, those ones, and those dudes are coming in, like, yelling at each other, like, <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck is this? Literally. Like, that's a mindless, I could watch that yes. shit for hours. And that's, uh, that's what I said to you the other day. I was like, man, like, I just want to sit, like, I just want to sit with you and, like, like, you know, I want I want us to show each other, like, all the funny, random-ass shit that we watched, like, as yeah, a yeah. kid when we were on YouTube. Like, yeah. you know, because that's, those are the best videos. Like, I was watching some of them yesterday, like, those dance videos I was watching. I was like, man, I want to show her this. Because yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. this is the shit that, like, I grew up on. Yeah. Like, you know, like, that's the good stuff. And, like, yeah, I mean, I think everyone has their, their little thing. Like, I watched, um, I got into Suits. Yeah. Like, obviously, you know, like, yeah. man, I watched... What is it? Nine seasons with fifteen episodes each, in like two weeks. That's I crazy. smashed through it, like because that's me. Like if I like like something, and especially 
if I'm getting something out of it. Like suits for me was like real good for me as a person and me and my career and like, you know, Harvey Specter and even Mike, like they were just, yeah, yeah really, really cool people. I that, can see you vibing with that. Huh? Yeah. And, and that's why, like, you know, so like literally in the car, I'd set my phone up. Like, and, like it's so like stupid, but even at, even at work, like, like I got people like walking into the office, like, oh, and I'm pause. just like, nah, pause, like not even the pause, like, hold up, uh, <laughs> hold up. We're, we're in the middle of a, we're in the middle of a trial here. Yeah. <laughs> but nah, like, have you got any other series that you'd get into? Uh, friend, fresh, Prince of Bel Air, like yeah, that's classics. iconic, man. Like, so nothing new that you're. <sighs> no, nah, but uh, I literally really. haven't seen anything new for yeah. ages. Like, um, well, same, bro. To be if honest, someone like, was like, "Hey, you should watch this," like, yeah, I'll sit down and watch it. Would and you though? Yeah, <laughs> would you actually? Like? Depends who I'm watching it with. <laughs> um, After what you just said, I got no faith in you, bro. I'm not giving you any recommendations. I'm giving it a shot, man. It's like love. I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> Never no, hits the target though. Fair play, fair um, play. Yeah, no nah, man, like <laughs> nah, I haven't. Anything new that you've been watching? Nah man, I'm I'm fully on this um yeah, like YouTube. Um I I'm just watching a lot of stuff about space at the moment. Um mm. there's a I read or I watched the other day that in a couple of months, for the first time ever, we will be able to witness two black holes colliding with each other okay so that's <clears throat> that's fucking massive like i don't mean to sound nerd like nerd nerdy but like that's massive like we, scientists do not know what's going to happen like the mm. fucking the space around it could literally just explode but we'll get to observe it mm. and actually see what the hell's going on with like space and shit like that like honestly it's 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 so like i don't get why people aren't interested in that shit like how would you not yeah. want to know what the fuck's out there like do you think there's aliens uh i think there's a very good chance that there is like yeah you're but, not curious at all like to be uh, like like if there is there, is there another planet is there like you know another species are they among us like yeah like i'm very aware of i'm aware of it but i'm very curious about us as humans ourselves and the progress that we can make like mm. I but wouldn't we're, that be we're the even we're untapped, bro, to even get to that point? You but that's know what, what I mean. mean wouldn't like, that be the fastest way, or, or like an interesting way of 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 looking at ourselves if we could say, "Oh, there's already another species, yeah. and they're like a million years older than us." And look at you know, like, yeah, hundred um, percent. I'm not like yeah. a freak about it. Like, I'm not like going and watching like it, all these deep diving yeah, YouTube videos. Is. But like, but it's so interesting to me to think that like we're that self-absorbed and arrogant sometimes that we just like we we i think once you realize that you know, that's why we're, we're so, so interesting that's what i mean i'm like fuck we're interesting enough as humans to be mm. like fuck like we still don't understand we don't even can hardly understand ourselves let alone understand like what's out there so whatever's out there will help us i don't think it'll it's just an understanding of how they operate look at something like like so the other day i watched um jurassic world Right, mm. and in that movie, you know, the whole concept of it is they, you know, can get DNA and they can invent, you know, like new dinosaurs, right? Yeah, and, or re recreate them. Yeah. Sorry, right? What if that's all the like? That, that's all we are. Like, mm. there's another species, you know, like light years well, it's away. Likely, right? Yeah. Well, that's it. Like, you know, they're like, you know, what? Okay. Well, this is how the Earth was created. Let's get that together, and make that whole thing. And that's and what I mean, just, like. They all have their own sort of genetics, which is, it's funny, man. Our environment expresses our genetics. Oh, that's good. That's interesting. Our what environment literally that? expresses our genetics. Only some of our genetics are actually expressed in humans. It's yes. our environment that we grow up in that actually allows whatever. So many well, genetics we can be environment. Yeah. turned down. Some people don't even get to witness or express any of some of their genes that they actually are born with. But our environment, because of how we grow up, there's only certain. That's why there's different cultures, bro. They're expressed differently. Yeah. Well, like you know, th- I it makes sense. That the other that, day, like, it's just like I was like, "What the fuck?" Like, well, well, you know, like a lot of the time we've evolved to like our environment. You know, mm. like when we decided to come out of water, you know, we like grew, you know, limbs. Which and is funny, man, because you know how when people go away, they travel and they come back and they seem different. 
I yeah. think it's that's similar, bro. Yeah, that's very similar. That's looking at it. It's like, like they're being aspect. tapped on, not tapping them, but they they're taken away out of their environment to see, and they're like, oh shit, it's like this different sort of person. I'm not saying that they go away and their genes are uh, express, mm. like some of these genes that are turned down are expressed, Dude, but it makes sense. It's literally li- just what we were talking about, guys. Check out just a thought from Wednesday, but like that's literally what our thing was. It was go where you're celebrated, not where you're tolerated, and you. Being in an environment that is like, I guess, positive or mm. makes you have to adapt. Like you come yeah, out different. Fully express, yeah. Like you really come out different. That's so interesting. <laughs> that <Which, laughs> right, and it's it's weird how life works like that. Everything's I've been having a man creatively man. urge of expressing and like I have to write. I have to like yeah. man, I'm just draw, draw, and I'm just like I just have to get this out because I feel like I feel like you get into a space there, like, you know, like, that's why, like, sometimes when I come home, like, I walk straight past you, I don't even say anything, because, like, I can just feel, like, you you can feel, but you can also see that you're in a, like, a creative space, and then, like, you know, me coming in, going, like, fuck, yeah, man, I just went and did this already, right, like, you know, that sort of fucks with it, but, you know, like, that is so true, you know, like, say that again, what is it? Our environment so only some of our genes are expressed and whatever environment we are in will express the some of our genes that we have. Yeah, I like that. I, I like That's that crazy, concept. bro. Yeah, I like So that imagine concept. going, living in America at some point. You're going to be expressed differently there. Yeah, and you'll, you'll, you'll grow and you'll adapt. Your mind will adapt, you know, mm. to a certain... Like if you went and lived in the cold, for instance, which your again, body would just Which is funny, adapt. right? What you think and believe is who you become. For <laughs> oh, like legit, shit. yeah, man, yes. Oh fuck, that is like, so trippy. That would- imagine you, bro. Imagine you, like as you are right now, like because yeah. you're very expressive. You mm. literally are very hate. Like I'm um, this. Yeah. That. Imagine you going away because you haven't really traveled, right? Nah. Imagine nah, you going yet. to like South America and stuff like that. Yeah. That'd be so interesting because that's that's the thing. Like I believe in the way. The, Reason I've got to where I am is before I was doing it, I was believing it, you know, like, and I was really like going for it and putting, you know, like you just, you fake it till you make it in a sense, mm. you know, because like you just, but you're not if, because you literally believe I in it. I believed in it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. Like you, you've like, got to, you've got to be doing it from the outside. They're like, another guy. Yeah. Same talking that. Nah, like, nah, 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 nah. When you I'm, actually I'm believe it, bro. Man. Like yeah. that's that's where people get fake it till you make it from. It's like nah, they actually have the belief yeah. that's that's. Well, where the thing be. that people don't understand is like in order for someone to believe that you can do it, they have to see you doing <laughs> it. Way, and yeah. in order for you to be doing it, you got to believe that you can do 100%. it. It's a it's a full ripple effect that you need to. It starts within you. Mm. If you do not believe in yourself, uh. how the fuck is someone else going to be like? Oh yeah, he can do it. He doesn't believe in himself, but yeah. like, but I believe in him yeah, because yeah, yeah. I can see something in him that you know, yeah. like that he can't see. So it doesn't make that's any the thing. Type if you want to see people do well, is um, see them for who they could become, not who they Man, are. And that ludicrous quote, like that was like one of the first quotes I ever heard, and it was like, "Bitch, don't love me for who I am, but who no, I'm destined to 100. be." You know, especially like, someone that doesn't believe in self. If you're oh. just literally like um, believe in who they could become. Yeah, and they say that, but like, fuck, for not who they are right now, because you know that they've got so much, and that's the thing. Like, when you start to say, it, that's why you believe in so many other people is because you proper believe in yourself. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I know what people can be, but then there's there's also another uh, another side of that coin. Like, I was listening to Jordan Peterson talk about. He was like, you know, when people are in a doubt, like down in a ditch or whatever, you know, like a lot of the advice that we give to people um, is like, you know, everything's okay. Everything, terrible. Will, everything will be that's the that's actually not good advice no that's the that's the fucking shittiest advice ever it's like well you can pair that up and be like everything's gonna be okay if yeah but if like we can du- it, double down and do well it's shit. more it's it's more like he said to say like you know like i believe that you can be so much of a better person and you will be a mm. better person you know like it's it's one of those things where if you're telling people that um you know that everything's okay and they're in a rut they're gonna be like, oh well, fuck! If like if if everything's okay and this is how I feel, yeah, well, like oh, this is shit. This is shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but it's like you know, I believe in you, and I know you can get to a better place, and you will be better. Mm. Like that's that's the advice that we really should be giving people because at the end of the day, every single breath that you take and every single second that goes past is a 
is is you're growing, you're getting older, you're getting deteriorated. Mm. Like I was listening to this um, this thing uh, podcast with Alan Watts, and like he put it to me. Honestly, I felt like I was meant to hear that, you know, because we, like, I was just talking about it um, earlier that day, and um, he really said something like he said, "If you, if you don't know what you want, chances are you don't know what you want because you already have, have it. it, right?" So that was one thing that really, like, I had to, like, pause and, like, really dive into that, you know, and think about that. But then the other thing that he said, he said, you know, what people don't realize is we're wasting so much time and so much energy on trying to control things and trying to get things to confide in the way that we we want want them to. But we're wasting so much energy because what we're holding on to is not actually there because Mm. once you realize that everything is in a constant state of deterioration of dying, like it sounds negative, but it's not like just Mm. understand what it is. Like we are all getting older. We're all dying. All the aspects, all the timelines, like the fashion trends, the whatever they're all coming and they're all going. So whatever you're trying to hold on to and make confide to your will and you know and and take control of mm. you're really controlling nothing yeah and once you let go of everything that you're trying to control and you just focus on you as a person you'll have so much more energy for the things that are important to you like you know your love life or your partner yeah, yeah. or or doing these little date things or or just yourself for, you know training and whatnot like stop worrying about like one of the best pieces of advice that i heard this year was or last year sorry was um if you've got some issues in your life write down everything that is wrong right Mm. then cross out all the things that you can't control and focus on the things that you can Mm. control it'll be funny because most of them you can't control exactly and then you'll only focus on like one or two things yeah. And when you cross out, because because when you cross out those things you can't control, you'll go down the list and go, well, oh well, fuck, I can't do anything about that. And then that no, automatically just gets that out of your way, and then you're like, well, the worst that, thing that's in the, up yeah. to him, so I can't control that. And like you figure it all out for yourself, and you're like, oh, the okay, worst well, thing in this world is choice, bro. We have too much choice. That's why no one picks a thing to do. When you limit your ooh, choice yeah, and be like, good. I only have these three options, and you do them, it's funny, man. Like. Think about how many times like, you have too much choice, you end up making no decision, whereas you have limited that's why, choices, that's you why pick one and go with it. That's why love is in the state that it is in, in 2022. 100%. It's too much too and much. And the man has on. the one, he wants the many. When you want the many, you want the one. Well, the thing is, like, like for me, for instance, right, I'm not saying anything about it, but like, I'm like, I'm, I don't see a million girls every single day on the gram. Mm. You know, I see one. You know, and that's like, that's, that's my own. Like, yeah. you know, and it's like, that's why I'm so like, I'm, I'm into it. Like, mm. you know, and like, it's very dangerous when you're, con- when you're getting, you know, fucking Jessica Alba lookalikes fucking being put in front of your yeah. face, 100. you know, and like, you just, you forget the real beauty as to why you, you, you're with your girl in the first place. Because 100. like Kevin Gates said again, he's like, people are looking at their normal days and their normal lives, and comparing then they're comparing them, yeah. other people's highlights to their life. That's the worst thing that we can do, man, because people people ain't going to, as I said to you, like maybe, what, three or four episodes ago, like mm. people aren't going to post their a picture of themselves after they just had an argument with their boyfriend. Huh. No, they're going to post when they're looking <laughs> flash as fuck. <laughs> and then go there. have an argument yeah. with their boyfriend. <laughs> but like, you know, they're not going to post all their, their lowlights. They're going to post all their highlights when they're on top of the Eiffel yeah. Tower, when they're traveling, mm. when they're doing this, when they're having the best time with the girls and they're doing this and, you know, looking real nice and yeah. got their nails done. And it's like, man, like, you know, life just isn't like that, nah. you know, like, and, and you're right in saying that, you know, if you have too, too much choice, it can be bad. 100%. It can really, really be bad. And like, you know, that's why I think it's very important that people need to realize that the internet is a tool. It's not 100%. a game. It's not that's, like that's it's, been the biggest game changer for me. It it's like, a tool. It's, it's not like, tool, don't, don't bro. go on the internet just to pass time. You know, well, like, hope to find something that's going to, you know, 
yeah. make you feel better when it's just making you feel worse and worse. Make yourself feel better by finding, like, you know, if, if you're going to use the internet, use it as if, and if you want to use it to make yourself feel better, literally type that in. What can I do, do to, feel, to better. feel better right now? I feel like absolute shit. And 100. I guarantee you there's some a million other people that oh. have done the same thing and they've put together like, you know, a link or a video or whatever, yeah. even if it's just close your eyes and listen to like a calming, you know, video yeah. or, you know, watch something about, you know, how important or how great this fucking life is. And the fact that you're actually awake is a blessing. 100. You know, like people forget about these things. They really think that, Oh no, like you left me for the fourth time. Like, oh, this is fucking gay. Like, oh, darling, there's so many more important Hard things in life right now. Like, you don't even understand. But that's the thing. Like, you know, when it's put in front of you, man, it's hard to turn away from it. It, it really, really is. But you have to um, be in a really good position to do that as well. Like, you can do that, but it's hard. Like, and if most people don't want to do it, well, that's the thing. Yeah. And we, and unfortunately, we, if you don't want to do it, then. You're just not going it's, to. It's a very, very, very thin line um, between, you know, like it, this comes back to, again, a few episodes ago when we were talking about, you know, like homeless people. You know, like everyone's like, oh, you know, you, can, you shouldn't be homeless on the Gold Coast. Like you can you can go out, you can get a job. Surely there's showers there. You can be like that. You can do this. You can do that. And you, know, you can look a little bit better. You don't have to smell that. And it's like, man, when your boyfriend fucking broke up with you, or your vice versa, you didn't even want to get out of fucking bed, yeah, and you 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 live a lavish lifestyle. This guy's sleeping on the fucking street. What makes you think he gives a fuck about how he smells? Mm. You know, and like, what makes you think he even has the willpower when life's beating him down to get up and want to go yeah, and have yeah. a shower and look presentable, just so you think he looks presentable? You know what I mean? Like, it's very very hard to get. You know, and we all don't know. Everyone's got a different story. Like yeah. everyone's, everyone comes from a different place, and they all have different demons. That's so what you have like, to understand, man. Is that people? people it's not, got nothing to do with you. How people treat you has got nothing to do with you, um, because they they have their own stories, and there, there's a reason why they're shaped that way. There's yeah. a reason why they're like that. So sometimes you just got to put that in perspective is just like instead of that just think about it and it's like what what because they're not just that because of that reason they're that reason because of the way they've been brought up the environment that they've been in for the period of time that they've been alive and just like it, it's not the surface level is not truly who they are so just don't take it as personal anything as personal as it needs to be because it's that's truly not them and they probably go home and it's like, fuck, why do I act like that? Why do I act like that? Yeah. It's just like, man, it's, things have been, they're just shaped that way. So Yeah, but then like, honestly, for me, I'm like, I've got no time to look at what someone else is doing and how they're, um, you know, how how bad or how good they are. Like, if I'm in a position where I see someone acting bad and if I don't tell them or do something about it, then I'm just as bad as them. Yeah, 100%. You know I'm I mean? not saying that, but like, don't, um, it's just like, they're, they're shaped in a certain way that, you have to understand it's like, yeah, 100%, like, that sort of stuff is important to be like, yo, that's not right, like, I'm going to be on your ass about that because that's fucked up, but, um, you know, th it's not them as a person. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah that, that that's degree. it, like, everyone, everyone needs, uh, and that's the thing, like, everyone needs a little bit of guidance, and I think that's where having experience comes, comes into it, you know, like, if you, like, you know, say with Josh, you know, like during the week, like, you know, he, he was going through some shit and like, you know, I've been through, I've been through the similar types mm. of shit. So I didn't say to him, look, follow this to a T and you'll get through this. But 100. all we did was like, you know, we gave Just him a little away bit, from get, well, gave him a little bit of a, of a different insight without forcing it down his throat and mm. really just made him think about, you know, where he was at and what he wanted to do and what was really important to him. But it's like, you know, like if the people around you, and that comes back to again, Not you know. Not doing that. Yeah. They're the, going to find out. Yeah, because exactly. we, we, before you got home, we spoke about it um, and stuff like that. And I was just like how I saw it with my situations because it's funny how yeah. similar situations are. It's just your mindset. And then he was telling me, and I was like, that helped me with my situation. I was thinking about that a better way when he 
thought about his way and I would, the way I was explaining it, he was like, fuck, I didn't think about that, which is, yeah. it's not until you get outside perspective until you know what the situation really is. Exactly, exactly. And that's that comes comes around to, his, you know, Josh was smart in that sense where, you know, when he was going through some shit, he was like, I need my guys, you know, like and he, and he knew who to come to and he knew who to surround himself with in order to get the right, like, because that's the thing, like, you know, you can sometimes go to your boys but, you know, sometimes your boys, like, let's say you're going through relationship problems or something like that. Man, sometimes the boys aren't, like, those kinds of boys, the ones you go out and hang out with yeah, on yeah. a Saturday night, they aren't the ones to go to, you know? It's like, it's it's it may be, you know, like, that person's sister or something like that. Like, yeah, yeah. you've also got to try and channel which energy you're trying to chase. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, it's like, as I said, with Google, like, if you, Google will show you what you want to, like, what you're searching for. You know what I mean? Because you just type it in. So it's like, yeah, it really, but I think with that sort of stuff, man, it really just starts with, you know, people like us, um, you know, getting on here, uh, just yep. speaking a little bit of, you know, what we know, what we've learned. Um, by no means, guys, are we experts in any parts of life. We're still babies, man. We're I, still trying to grow. We're I still feel so young, bro. Yeah. I'm like, fuck, and, and I'm so on tap. In five years, two, even two years, yeah. I'll look back on this and I'm like, man, like, you know, my mindset's really, really changed and I've really, really grown. But, you it know, will for be, now. Man, but, you, but for now, this is where I'm at. This is what I believe. 100%. And this is what's helping me get to that point. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. You know what? I don't think. Because I don't think it would be changed. To, I think. We've got really good. I think it would just be we'll be able to handle the situations better. You think? I think with the knowledge is there, right? But I'm you're still going to get some learning. I'm, I'm actually very like. See, for me, like I wouldn't look at that. I guess as a as a knock on where I'm at now. I would look at that as like fuck. Like I'm I'm so excited now yeah, yeah. to see where I could be. You know down the line in two years because like that's just that's like if you look at where I was. Well, where I thought I was two years ago, mm. and then look at where I am now, and you know, in two years from now, like man, I can only, I can only Imagine hope, a, you know, like because the thing is, learning at a faster rate now. Yeah, I used to learn. Well, because very we're focused. See, for me, like because I'm focused on learning. Mm. Like I'm focused on every morning. It's a, it's about growing. Like my person, my inner spirit, my you know me as as. A part it's funny, of, yeah. When you folk, when it's really about yeah, you. and then like I guess at night it's like growing my knowledge. You mm. know, grow it during the day. It's about growing me in a community. Uh, you know, sense. So it's like everything that I'm doing now is focused on growing. So that's why I'm like, yeah, I know for a fact I'm going to be different. I'm going to have different mindsets yeah. because by then, in two years, I would have met another million yeah, people. Maybe. You know, and like they're mm. all going to change my life. You know, and I hope I meet some great, great people yeah. and, you know, some... They some, will be either way, you know. That's what I mean. So it's like, you know, we've got so much to look forward to. And that's what I'm trying to say to people. It's like, man, like, you're out there, like, moping over breakups and shit. It's like, shit, man, man, the world is your oyster. Fun, and it, it, that's the thing. We have so much choices in a bad way, but we also have so much choices in a good way. Yeah. We've got so many options, so many more uh, accesses to knowledge and to wealth so, yeah. and, you know, like all these different career paths and, you know, NFTs and all these other yeah. things that are coming in. Man, like you can become a Anything. millionaire at fucking 15 years old in today's world. Like that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Why are we focused on some dude that works at a fucking gas station that mm. goes out on the weekends like... <laughs> you know, you yeah. know, like it's just it's just amazing. So just That's how yeah. the world goes round, bro. Everyone has to have do the work. Yeah. You know? That, that's how the world works, bro. Yeah. Like everyone has to do a job to participate. Yeah. Everyone yeah, has to do a job to participate, that. otherwise we do not operate as humans. Yeah. Be interesting though if like if we I guess I think there's some parts of it that where you could probably cut it's out. It's definitely Hundred you know? percent. Like, there's going to be a lot of cutting out the middleman, yeah. like taking away things. Now that, that now that all these new ways of like making money purely online, especially yeah. with what's happened with COVID, and people like I I read the other day that like there are thousands and thousands of workers that haven't gone back to work uh, even after they're allowed to go back to work yeah, because yeah. now they're just they're just they happy. just found something else they've found and as well work, as yeah. it's working from home, it's yeah. working better than but, it yeah, ever is. I think like, in the future, bro, we'll all be working for ourselves. Fuck. 
Well, oh. I don't. Do you, you think so? Because I think I think there are certain people. Look, you know, there are a lot of leaders, um, mm. but there are certain people that are happy to confide to. You know, working for someone yeah, else 100%. and with someone else. Yeah, you know? true. Like there are people. Like not everyone's built to run run their own business, and not everyone's motivated enough to. But I'm, to, I'm not talking in that sense. But everyone working for themselves, like making twenty, thirty grand more. Oh yeah, for themselves. Yeah. Like See what I not think, making working for themselves making hundred and what I think is, a, is, a, is and, and it's become more common in even in the last ten years a second income is going to be like a norm but yeah. it's not going to be an it's gonna income be a four hour it's going to be two three hours yeah work. it's not going to be an income where you got to work it'll and be like an email like hey we want you to do this work here's a price boom I'll yeah. pick that one or you have different sort of ones of like uh, I'll I pick heard, this one this week because that's it's, I'm in that vibe this week boom here. Yeah. Pay me, yeah. bang. Because I, I heard like this thing, and it's like you know, if you're, just, you're if you're in a job and you're not in a career, um, and you don't have a second income or, yeah, coming, or working on one that will bring in that, you're one sentence away from being broke. Yeah, you're well, you out. Yeah, you know, someone 100%. says you're fired, and you're, yeah. you're like, oh fuck, okay. Mm. You know, I don't have a career. Like I want to go to a job. Yeah, you know. So it's like that second that second point of income, I think, will become like such a normality. To a sense where you know, like even if even if we're just getting paid off photos, or if we're just getting paid to create NFTs, or we're just getting mm. paid to create, you well, know, I'm content looking at it now, it's only going to be exaggerated, right? Yeah, because like I think you know, obviously there's and like, all love and respect to the boomers and stuff, but like once the boomers go, mm. like you know, like the whole world, like mo- majority of the world is going to be in that thing with technology. They're yeah. going to be in that well, pool of technology yeah. already. Like, man, I seen, I seen. I seen this old, this old guy like he would have been like seventy, and this dude was showing me how to use the yeah, phone. Yeah. Like I was like, man, like you yep. know, if he can do it, imagine what a seventeen year old can do mm. now. You know, oh, like they're they're growing up and they're learning so much faster now. So yeah, I think it's it, it's 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 an exciting new world. It's an exciting 100%. new world. We got a plan to look forward to, man. For sure. <laughs> that was a good <laughs> that was a good little dice up there. It's not your usual one. It's not, not, not your usual fuck it off Fridays, but we thought we switch it off for you guys. We talk about some shit that's actually real, you know, and, and there's some shit that you guys can vibe with too. But uh, let we'll me know your back. thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Put it in the comments section. We all we want to hear about some of the things. If you guys think a little bit differently. I want to hear some people, you know, thinking it differently to, to us. Like, sure. open my mind up. Because as I said, I'm all about growth. We're all about growth. And if you guys can open our eyes, like, all the more better. That's why we're here. So, take us out, bro. I'm just saying, all right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, we're working on getting some guests. Coming back to the guests. It's super cool having them on. So, um, we're working on that. Yeah, next week, next week. We got a show. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. As always, stay fit. Stay vibey. See you guys in the next one. See ya. Tried to bite my tongue, but I can't take it. I got whiplash.